Hello, it's you, Chester Boy, and welcome to my first review of 2023. And today, we take a look at the Deluxe Command Twin Buckle and, Raging, and Raising Sword Set from Comrade Geats. This is a power-up item that allows Comrade Geats or any other desired any other desired Grand Prix riders to transform it into either Command Form Jet Mode or Command Form um, Cannon Mode. Yeah, we'll we'll get to that that later. Um, now you may notice. Um, and now I'm aware that. There was a campaign where if you get this like early in like in December, you get a Tycoon Core ID. Unfortunately, I didn't get one, which I'm completely fine with it because hey, you know you know the big deal with these Core IDs that they're all cosmetics. Okay, they don't change the sounds at all in Desire Driver, so I'm okay with myth. I'm okay with missing out on the Tycoon Core ID. I'm not gonna. I'm not guaranteed to collect every single Core ID in existence because I'm aware that a, a lot of these are gonna become premium band exclusives. So. All right, let's get the little disclaimer out of the way. Let's get started. So in this set, you get two, you get two command buckles. We got the jet, the jet one here, and here's the raising the. Uh, I think, I think this is the jet one. This is the cannon one. So and the raising sword. So yeah. So let's take a look at the uh, buck, the buckles first. So you can see they both look identical, except there's a few a few differences. One is the color. Basically, we got, well, the accent. We got this one's, basically, the, the jet one here is orange, while the, the tank one is, the cannon one is blue. And you may notice that this one is a little bit different in terms of design because, or I should say that one of these is heavier than the other one because this one here, the blue one, is electronic. Well, this one is just plain plastic. So, yeah. So, yeah. So there's the back. Of course, of course, they do have buttons. Like this one has a button. This one has one as well. So, yeah. So, of course, we've got the nice um, inner circle, whatever they're called. Nice little detailing on there. So, yeah. Now we're going to remove this pull tab here. So, of course, when you press the button, now when you press the button, you get this. You get the name announcement. If you press it again, you'll get the same sound. So if you pull this, it'll say full charge, but you can cancel that by doing. However, we'll get to that. We'll get to that, that full charge sound when we get to the um, raising the raising swords. So yeah, and you can tell how and you can tell how this is going to be activated. So yeah. And of course, let's take a quick look at this one. So, again, this one, this, this one, this thing has no electronics whatsoever. So, and of course, you press the button, that little peg pops out. Again, we'll get to the desired driver soon. Now, let's take a look at the raising sword. So, of course, you can tell this this weapon is exclusive to any desired any desired Grand Prix rider, specifically Gates and Tycoon so far. When they, when either one uses the um, any of the command buckles, so yeah, and you can see it's gray, it's dark gray with some light gray, and we got some blue, it got some blue and orange to match the two buckles, and uh, yeah, and of course this takes three watch batteries, so and of course this one here does take um, two watch batteries, so there you go, so here's the on off switch. Of course there's a um, this is a little um, little bar here that you can slide into one of the um, race buckle holders. So much like the um, the Zombie Breaker, Magnitude Four Zero X, Ninja Dueler, and the B X. So yeah. Now, of course, this is the slot where you put in a race buckle. And you can tell we got the nice little gradients going in from blue to looks like pink or magenta, I think. So yeah. And of course, this is a release button, which allows you to eject out a race buckle. And we've got another button here, which we'll get to that later. Now let's turn on the Raising Sword. So you all got the name announcement, and just be aware that this thing is loud. So yeah, and of course, pull the trick, push the trigger. You get this. I mean, no, it does alter that the colors actually do change. So it alters. So well, two different patterns, I should say. So now, now if you hold this, now if you hold this, it doesn't do anything. So yeah. Now if you press this button on here, you get this. You get the raise charge, and then press the button. You get the tactical raising. 
And of course, you see a nice light show going on there. So, yeah. Then, of course, you put in a raised buckle. In this case, we'll use the command, the command cannon buckle. You'll see, okay, it'll say set. So, yeah. And if you pull the trigger, and if you pull, pull the trigger, you get different sounds as well. So, so now of course we're going to pre pull this. Now you notice that the thing is still going. That's because you have to put this thing in the desired driver to access command form, which we'll get to that later. So let's go ahead and remove this. All right. Wait, hold on. There you go. That's done. There you go. That works. All right. Let's bring in the desired driver. All right. So we got gates. We got the gates cordy ready. So there we go. And let's put in the command. We're gonna put in the command. We're gonna put in the command jet buckle. Then press the button. And they have access to Cum we have Cumry Geats raising form. And this allows him to, and of course this summons the raising sword. So, yeah. And of course you press it again. You get the great strike. Now what I'm gonna go do this real quick, we'll bring in the boost race buckle. So hypothetically, we create Cumbria Geats, um, Cumbria Geats raising boost form. Of course, we'll do the finishers. It's a great boost victory, and then we'll do this two times. Now see what happens if you put in just the command the command um, cannon buckle by itself. Now from here you do is pull the lever. Okay, so we got that, and of course press it again, pulls again. We're bringing the boost race buckle again. Huh. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. All right. Uh, okay. So we could do the finish attacks from here. Uh, okay, so that's interesting. So this doesn't work with the... Um, Man, this buckle. Okay, that's. I might be wrong, but okay, that works. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and well, I'll cut here with this thing attached to the desired driver. So wait a minute. All right, now we got the boost buckle bit out of the way. Let's do the show accurate way. So with this attached here, we're gonna attach this onto here. So from here, we're gonna move this. It's in here. So yeah, so we so we accessed um command gates uh, command form, either jet mode or cannon mode. It depends on what buckle this is, what side's on. Well, specifically this one. And as you can do the revolve on gimmick, so there you go. So 
when you press the button, you get a lock on. And then, and then pull the lever. Okay, so you got that. So if, you press this button, so if you press this button, so you get the great hyper victory, so, yep. Of course, if you do this again, you get command twin victory, so. So I think that's pretty much it for the desired driver, so, yeah. Now, before we get to the, now we get to, well, let's talk about some other compatibility with, well, this thing with other race buckles. In this case, what happens if I put in a small race buckle, like in this case, we'll do the drill race buckle. You get that, it'll say set, and of course you pull the drill back. So that, and press the trigger. Now, of course you can tell, obviously you tell, this thing is not a reader. So basically, for, so no matter what kind of race book you put on this thing, you're gonna get the same exact sound. So, yeah. So let's do, um, Actually, well, this is right here. Let's try, let's try to use the, like, for example, let's do the boost raise buckle. Because why not? Let me attach this thing. See? Same exact sound. So, there you go. Now, now let's move on to the Magnum Shooter. Now let's try these two command buckles out with the Magnum Shooter. So... Let's use the, we're going to use the jet one because this one's the, the non-electronic one. So let's put this in. Oh, close. See, reach says great. Press the button. Now we'll do rifle mode. Um, now we're going to try out the Command Cannon Buggle, the electronic one. And this one's going to be a little bit um, insane in terms of electronics because, hey, this one, again, this has its own electronics, so. Okay, this reader is great as well. Now, don't press the button here because it's going to say Command Twin Buckle, so you have to do is pull the lever up. Again, if you want to set up the uh, music tone, there's a little orange button right here, which is activated, which is, which is pressed when you put in the desired driver. So, yeah. Now, of course, we'll do this again. So, let me do this. Okay. Okay, shush. So that's that. So in the end, the command, the deluxe command twin, the command twin buckle and raising sword set is highly recommended if you're a fan of the of the forms, especially the two modes, specifically the jet and cannon modes, which again pretty cool, and the raising sword. Such a pretty cool looking weapon, but the only downside to that is that this thing is not a reader, like I said before. So like I said before. No matter what race, whenever which type of race book we put in this thing, you're gonna get the same exact sounds. So yeah. Now of course it's gonna be unfortunate to some people that who try to get the Tycoon Core which I didn't. But like I said before in the beginning of the review, in the end, the, the core IDs are just cosmetics, okay? They don't change the sounds in Desire Driver whatsoever. That's why I'm not gonna go after every single one in existence. So yeah. That's why I just want to point that out. But don't let what I said push you away from clanking this thing. I like this thing. It's awesome. It's a good set. Now, also, just a reminder, no, the Rainy Story is not going to be a separate toy. These two aren't as well. So these are all in one. In, they're all exclusively sold in one set. So, yeah. Actually, I think Bandai could have, at some point, released the Desire Driver and these, and these three things in one bundle. At some point, they might. Who knows? So, who knows about that? So, 
So would I recommend this set? Yes, absolutely, regardless even if you got the Tycoon Core ID or not. So yeah, I do regret picking this up. So to next time, I'm going to take a look at another, uh, do another Gates review and take a look at the Deluxe Powered Builder Buckle and Gigant Buckle set. So thank you for watching. Like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to next to it. If you want to watch Twitter, like my Facebook page, links are down below in the description. So I'll catch you next time.